about having it as an ice cream taco. Oh. It's the next big wow. trend in sweet treats. I know, right? Um, and we have the wonderful Daniela Boutros oh, from Buttercream yeah. Lane. Oh. She can show us how to make them. Those are the yummiest sweet things. Um, now, this is the best. I love Mexican and I love mm -hmm. sweets. So this is combining the two, right? We just brought your worlds together, I know, we? I know. Where do we start? So let's start with the ice cream. Homemade ice cream is actually really easy to make. Mm -hmm. So we can you can do it in your frozen uh, dessert maker. So it's easy to pop on. And Sarah, if you want to pop in your milk, this is condensed milk thickened oh, cream. I love condensed milk. I love milk. condensed milk, oh. even with my tea. So um, some caster sugar and some vanilla ac extract. So make sure your machine's running when you do this and you can just pour it in nice and light. Mm, there wow. we go. And it'll churn it. So it's a frozen bowl. You pre-organise um, that the night before and that'll make your ice cream. If you don't have a dessert maker, completely mm. fine. You can pop all your ingredients and mix it through in a freezable uh, glass tray. <laughs> And then, and then give Jess a beater. <laughs> and then you can just beat that. So you've put the same ingredients. Same ingredients. So condensed milk, sugar. Sugar, vanilla extract and um, the cream. And it does take longer to do it by hand. Mm -hmm. So that is a lot easier. But if and you we're going to start shouting. <laughs> Now that takes a while, so yeah. in, in your machine it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes. In this it is going to take longer, so put your favourite show on and start beating. Otherwise you can do... Just get it from the... Carol, we know okay. that you, you love to cook at home. Mm -hmm. um, are you a sweet treat No, you know, you know, funny enough, I, I don't... Do I, you know, sweets are an art in themselves. Yeah. I have a lot of respect for people that make sweets mm. because Aww. they are more difficult than actually cooking ordinary meals. Yeah. Are we making crepes or pancakes? And okay. what's the difference? So yeah, so this is a common thing. There's a big difference between crepe and pancakes. This is Maria's recipe. So I got this off my boyfriend's mum, oh. which is like oh. no pressure, but um, I'm totally in now. So, oh, beautiful. so she's given me you. this and this is the best of both worlds. So crepes uh, are usually cooked with butter where pancakes are cooked with oil. Oh, oh. I never knew pancakes that. I thought have, pancakes mm. were thicker than crepes. Yeah, they, yeah. that's because of the baking powder. So again, they have baking powder. Sure. Crepes don't, mm -hmm. and it's the liquid mm. is more in a crepe. So, so what's in the there? Thing. You've got eggs. So flour. we've got eggs, flour, some sugar, and we'll just get that together. So really, you're making a nice light mix that kind of coats your finger. Ooh. So it's not as thick it as coats pancakes. Your finger, but yeah. that's coating the whisk, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. You can if you want to test it. Okay. Like yeah. So pancake mix is a lot thicker. Where do this you need is to that get the lumps runny. out or not? Yes, so you this, do. So this is a crepe. Yeah, this is a crepe. Well, it's the best of both worlds. Crepe okay. pancake, so it's in between. We are cooking it with butter yes. and oil. Yes. That's my preference. Ooh. I just find it gives you the best of both worlds. Nice flavour, but that nice brown finish on top. Mm. And then we also have store-bought crepes, if you like. And these ones are gluten-free. Oh. So if you do have that, you can do this. So we get to cook one? Yeah. So it's not really a taco shell, then? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can, you can have soft tacos. Yes, I agree oh. with that. Yeah, there are two. Yeah. So with a crepe, you're going to pop Vesa's it in. I'll tell you all about tacos. And then you're trying to give your pan a nice circular swirl. Do you want to give it a go? Oh, you go on. <laughs> so you just kind of swirl it around mm. so it gets a nice round Ooh. finish to it. Oh, that's how you make it round. <laughs> Mine <are> just blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But, you... but are you doing pancakes or crepes? Yeah. Pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's nice and easy, and they'll cook on. But if you do, you can get these pre-made ones, which oh, are wow. pretty cool. Yep. And then you can top it with anything you like. So if you well, this is the, this is the thing. So when it comes to tacos, it's all about the assembly, right? Mm -hmm. So um, how do you assemble? Should we all try and assemble one? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to give it a go? Do you like to give it a go? Yes, darling. Yeah. Have a have a crepe. Right. I will have a crepe. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Whoa. So yeah. what goes in first? So I would say organise a spread. Do you want peanut butter, caramel? Caramel! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think your sauce should always go down first yeah. and that can have yeah. a nice Whoa. drizzle there. Usually oh. I put the lettuce, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you could even put banana in and make it you like can. a banana split you thing. Can. Would you like caramel? And Yummy then what's that. next? Yeah. I like the peanut butter. And then I say go for oh. your ice cream. So there's a spoon behind there. 
cream and on the bottom. There. Also, with your ice cream, you can make it a bit interesting. You could put a shot of coffee in your mm. mixer. You can use Oreos or berries. Just do it at the last Ooh. five minutes just to give it that nice mix yeah. in. But the thing but is, though, when you bite into a taco yeah, with ice cream in it, you really get an ice cream headache. Oh, you could. Ice cream. Uh, yeah. Ice cream? Yes, I have Strawberry, some vanilla? Vanilla. 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 Wow. Oh my goodness. Only the simple but the best for you, I And when it comes to rolling it, do you have to roll it oh, like it? Oh no, you just t well, fold it over. Well, this is the thing. We were discussing this last night. You can have it as a taco. Mm -hmm. Or you could roll it as a sushi roll. Or an ice cream burrito. Yeah, mm. or ice cream burrito. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> our honey. Oh, there is no honey. Ooh, but honey's thousands. a good idea. Well, Chocolate peanut chips. butter. <laughs> oh, oh, I got a the little carrot away, so I'll have a little carrot away. Yes, thank you. Chopped chips. Now, if you don't want to do the taco, you can always get biscuits and make an ice cream sandwich. It's just so good. Oh, which are here? Yeah. So you want some ice cream? These are my yeah. girlfriend's Brooks Oops. trademark. Every party we have these. An so it's ice cream Oreo. Yeah, an ice cream sandwich. Layers of biscuit, uh, Oreos and the vanilla ice cream, which is really good. How my going, girls babe? would love to make this. Mm. You'd have a lot and, of fun, wouldn't you? And you can I make say, make with crepes, sorry, the first one you make never oh, works oh. out. Do you know that? Your pancakes or oh. crepes, the first one. Why? Because your pan's still he oh. like heating up, mm. finding the right temperature. I always throw away my first pancake. I don't know if everyone else. I'm I always throw away throw all of mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Daniela Boucher. This is delicious. Is it good? Oh, you right. How lot of it looks like she needs a little dark room to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I put too much food up butter in. <laughs> Daniela Boucher from Buttercream Lane. We love you. You are so yeah. talented and oh. we love your sweet treats. Thanks for joining us. Oh.